Hey guys, it's me and welcome back to another live game commentary. So I haven't been uploading as much, uh, as many gameplays. I mean, focusing on solo queue because obviously the rank season's ending in like just over two weeks. So I want to try and get as much on there as I can. Uh, so might be sacking a little bit on these gameplays. But we can squeeze some in here and there for you, which is what we're doing right now. Today we're playing some Caitlyn. I've got auto filled this game. Uh, this is like D4... Wait, am I in my default promos on this account? Or maybe that's a different account. I'm in Diamond 4. I don't know if I'm in my promos or not, though. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we got auto filled. <laughs> my teammates are talking <laughs> about having better bot wins. <laughs> and I'm auto filled AD carry versus Draven. And I always int versus Draven. Um, plus, I actually have the wrong masteries. I, I should have gone uh, Warlords. But I've gone further. Further, I, I don't think further is, is that bad. Um, <clears throat> I think further is fine actually, but I'd say it's just not as good, I guess. Interesting choice to hook Draven here actually. Just because he can uh, get healed up from Soraka, but that's still pretty good. So yeah, Caitlyn's the uh, name of the game today, guys. AD Raise, Attack Speed, Quints, Arm Yellows, MR Blues, uh, Attack Speed, oh, wait, AD Reds, did I say that? AD, Armor, MR. Or attack speed blues uh, and attack speed quints. Okay, so I need to be careful if I'm harassing someone that isn't Draven. Sorry, if I'm harassing someone that isn't Seraka. Okay, my I'm already positioning this awfully and taking so much harass. Uh, so one of the reasons why Warlords would be good is because we don't have any sustain in this lane. Uh, which means that any damage I take kind of sticks outside of... The life still I have from my Doran's blade. So I need to keep pushing this lane if I want to not fall really far behind in health. Uh, if, I, if I'm if i trading poorly, which I probably will trade poorly because I'm not a great AD carry. So um, I'm, you know, just going to admit that that's not one of my lane phases and stuff. It's not my strength. But uh, I like playing AD carry late game, specifically when you get three items. That's when it's most fun. Uh, that's when I'm good at it, at least. So, if I suck in the lane phase, I apologize. You guys are probably going to flame me. I've seen a few more comments talking about my AD carry. You know, and how, how you guys think if I get AD carry, I basically just int. And you know what? I'm going to try and prove you wrong. But you can tell by the tone of my voice that, you know, there's a little bit of <laughs> hesitation with that statement. So I might just try and push the tower as much as I can, rather than harassing Draven. Strack is standing really far back, so it's kind of hard to hit her. She's like my ideal target, but... I don't think I'm going to be able to hit her much. And like I say, I don't really want to hit Draven, because he, if I hit Draven, he will hit me. He will hit me harder. Whoops, a daisy. Uh, and then he just gets healed back up. So I have to focus Strack if I... Wait, did he... He made my ego sidewards. Wait, can someone can you can someone watch that back and write in the comments whether or not I put my e like whether I whether my my I just messed up with my mouse or whether I pressed e and then because he did his e which pushes me to the side whether that then pushed me to the side and then ruined my net. Did you like? Did you see that or are we getting ganked or what's going on? Why am I... I feel nervous. Anyway, if I come out of this lane with a decent amount of CS, I'm pretty happy. Caitlyn's kind of like a... Like that, you know, like a like a U. It, with that sound effect as well. As far as her, like, power levels go, or more specifically, when she's strong and when she's uh, not so strong. Uh, what that means is she's very good early, but then she falls off mid-game, and then she gets really strong late as well. Wow, I hit one minion with that. Why are we focusing Draven? That's more like it. Okay, Gragas is here, so I have to flash. Feels bad, man. Oh, I That's a really awkward gang. That actually really fucks us up, because now I have to recall. I'm going to miss a lot of minions here. But if I... I'm, you really want me to stay on this health? 
Does he have any target stacks? He has two. Okay, he might be able to heal me a little bit here. If I stand really far away here, they might think I've recalled and they might not pressure me. So I'm just going to stand out of vision here and hope that these guys don't push the tower and they actually walk away here thinking that I've recalled. There you go. Just like that. And then I come back. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> and here I am to take all the juicy CS. See? And now they come back, but it's too late. I've already got all the CS now. Well, I missed most of it. I would love to have a Warlords about now, I'm not going to lie. So one of Caitlyn's weaknesses, she's pretty good at poking, but she's really bad at all ins. So I like that. Whoops, Daisy, I did not mean to shoot that one. Oh my goodness, I suck. Oh my god, no way. I'm just going to say wow in chat. <laughs> Holy shit, that was awkward. Alright, that actually wasn't too... Well, he kind of suicided for that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that. well, it, it, that's my bad. But we should, that, that actually should have been fine for us, because he's kind of suicided there as well, right? Holy shit, why is this guy so fucking toxic? <laughs> Look at him, what the fuck, he's so mad. <laughs> okay. Everyone's just blaming everyone now. Right, you know what, I'm just gonna fucking mute everyone. I really don't care, like... I'm, I'm not even muting everyone here because everyone's toxic. I'm just muting them because I can't be asked to listen to them. Like even like Kazix hasn't really been toxic here, but I'm just gonna mute him as well because he's gonna it, like he'll be talking to that to Zach and LeBlanc, and it's like can't be asked. All right, so I'm four CS down. That's really not that bad. I mean, I probably should be h higher, but bearing in mind I'm an autofield AD carry and I'm really bad at lane phase. Okay. So just think about that, like, I'm not trying to play to, like, carry the lane phase. Fuck. This is not great. I missed my trap on uh, Soraka, though. I put it a bit too far behind Blitzcrank there. I need to put it, like, in front of him. But yeah, we shouldn't be fighting like that, really. Let's chill. We can't 2v2. And they had summoners and we didn't either, so... Farming is fine. We can't... Like, this is this is where we're trying to do too much and we're going to fall behind and we're going to lose by trying to get ahead, if that makes sense. I was pretty... F whatever. Fuck off. This is really annoying. He should die here though, which is worth because he has a big kill spree. Nice. Two kills. I missed some CS, but I think that's worth it, even though I don't get an assistance racker. I think that's okay. <coughs> right. Mm, let's get tier two boots. Oh god, now he's set up a freeze. He's gonna set up a freeze for the enemy team. Fuck my life. Look, so now there are so many more of our minions than enemy minions. Our minions are gonna push. So I'm gonna miss these minions here. But more importantly, he's gonna push so slowly that Draven's gonna get back and get all these minions. And I'm not. So I, I'm, I'm now getting three minions. Well, plus the cannon, I guess. Oh, whoops, a daisy. And Draven gets <laughs> all of that. 
<laughs> that really sucks. Plus, I already missed some under the tower. So, yeah. That's not great. So, that's why if you're going to push lanes, you should, like, push them really hard or just not push them at all. A lot of people make that mistake, though. Why? Is Zed here, or...? Wanna see a hat trick? Wait, how did Zack escape that? You know what? I'm gonna have to mute pings as well, aren't I? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, now I'm actually starting to fall decently behind. Uh, we've needed to just chill this lane phase, and we ain't chilling. No, Draven's pretty far ahead. He's going for Yumi's Rush, which is pretty standard. But having early lethality means he's going to hurt me a lot. Because I don't really have any armor. Obviously, I don't have armor. I'm playing Caden. I mean, I've got armor yellows, but... You know what I mean? Nice. I'm also just playing this one, like, really far back. Because I can't move up too far here. <clears throat> like, it's better for me to miss maybe one, two, maybe three, maybe four minions just playing passive right now than take, like, a bad trade with Draven because then, then they can dive me, which they've already done. Okay, they're TPing behind us here. Oh my god. He should walk up and punch him, not go for the hit. And I'm dead. Two summoners, not enough. Ah, oh dear. At least I get assists on that. Yeah, you don't want to initiate with hook like that. I don't know why you would do that. Just run up to them and just fist them. Just punch them. You don't need to initiate with the hook. Engage with E if they are close, please. Because then I can set down my trap. Like, if he misses that hook, it's pretty bad for us. But I die so fast again. Like, I think he's actually dead. It's it's still good, though, but I've died four times in 13 minutes. Which is not nice. Saka did a nice silence to me, though. Couldn't flash earlier. Uh, I'm just going to last hit this stuff. I could push it hard and get it under the tower, but... Yeah, I was going to say, but I'm just going to get, like, fucked. <laughs> As if I was just going to get ganked in my own lane by Draven. Leave me alone, dickhead. But each time these plays happen, I fall further and further behind in CS. Because, like, last time, like, just now, my team pushed the minion wave in and stuff, so I missed a few waves there. And then... Before it was under the tower, and then Blitzcrank tried to push it in and set up like a really bad for whatever. So I'm just like not getting any of the CS right now. But part of it is just that I'm not alive enough to get the CS, you know. Like I just die too much, so. Well, that's good. Okay, he flashes, that's fine. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to get the trap in that situation. Oh my goodness, that minion cop blocked me so hard. No! Let me get that one. Okay, that's still good. Ideally, I think I would get one of those, but I'm not going to complain. It's probably just going to sound like I'm complaining about everything here. Fuck my life. I, I, yeah, it's fine. Kazix already has six kills. So he's not he's not in dire need for kills, but he is uh It's fine, like he he can take them because he can carry it. It's fine. I feel like a lot of this lane is because I have fervor instead of warlords. If I had Warlords, I would have, like, much more sustain. I'd feel a lot safer in this lane. But as it stands, it's pretty rough for me here. Alright. I don't need to rush Infinity Edge, I don't think. I'm probably just go for... 
Or do I want to rush him from the edge? No, I don't need to rush it. We'll just go for the zeal here. Now, normally once you take this first spot tower, you swap to top so that we can then take this tower here. But because dragon's spawning, I think we should stay bot side. And because this tower is down, I think it's kind of risky for us to swap to top. Because if we swap to top here, uh, it's easy for us to get ganked. And Jarvan can probably 2v1 us anyway. Like, I'm pretty weak right now, so... Jarvan's kind of strong. Wait, is someone still flaming this Kha'Zix? Goddamn. Alright, they're going for the dragon here. I'm just going to stay here because if Soraka and Draven are just sitting bot, then that's actually pretty good for us here. Okay. That's dust bait. Oh, that's a huge bait. I'm actually... Oh, he still gets the cannon. <laughs> See ya. That was a really good bait, actually. I'm going to give Draven... I'm going to give Jarvan a lot of points for that one. That was a sexy bait. No, I, I said Draven. I said Jarvan, not Draven. Draven. God damn. Ah, uh, fuck. Two baits in a row. That second E goes off there, he's dead. LeBlanc could have killed Jarvan, but he would, she would have died for it. Like, she could have flashed and killed him, but that might not have been worth it. This, so far though, this... Wait, what? Why the hell did he go? Whatever. So far this is worth it though, I think. Well, me dying is not good, but... <laughs> Outside of that, it's cool. Oh, come on! That is obvious, bro. Two deaths in a row. First one I can give you... First one I'm, I'm, you know, saying that was a good bait by the enemy team. Second one though, come on, mate. That's just poor. Okay, I'm 0 and 5. Beautiful. Alright. I can freeze this though, there are more enemy minions than allied minions, so I can just sit here indefinitely. The downside to me doing this is it gives up pressure on the rest of the map, so that my team uh, are going to be outnumbered if the enemy team ever groups up. Basically like what's happening now, if like Draven goes mid, then Draven's going to be around to make a play and I'm not. So my team will suffer for that. But as it turns out, <laughs> that's uh, not happening. And this is, this is good because I... I don't want to fight right now. Like, I don't want to do anything. A big mistake that people make... I mean, I'm not an AD guru, right? But a, mis a common mistake that AD carries make, or anyone really, I guess, any kind of carry makes when they're behind is they'll still try and do stuff as if they're not behind. When you need to get your item spikes, get your power spikes, get your strength in there, what's the point of fighting if you're, if you're weak? There's no point. So, like for me, if I don't get items, if I don't get strong, then there's no point me leaving this lane. Even if you're like, oh, my team needs my help. I need to group up with my team. What's the point? Grouping up with my team when I'm this weak? Holy shit, I'm missing so much CS. What's the point? <laughs> I'm not going to achieve anything. I'm just going to put myself further behind. But now I should push this one out. Because now I need to start rotating, I think. Because the enemy team is actually going to make a big push now. This Kha'Zix is a beast, though. Alright, I'll do one more wave and then I'll go mid, I think. They don't really need me, though. I mean, LeBlanc should probably be heading mid as well. But because they killed Zed, I think they actually are fine here. So I'm just going to push in and then run away. There we go. So now you can see I'm catching up on CS here. 100, 135 CS is the highest on our team. It's higher than anyone else on the enemy team that isn't Draven. So, like, this is fine, honestly. Like, this is not bad. Do I go mid here? Why the bloody hell do we have four people chilling in topside? We're gonna mi Are we actually going to lose this tower just because of that? Really? Okay. I also can't walk anywhere near Draven. Why do I keep saying Draven? That's Chavon. Nice hook. I got a kill! Nice. 
I may look like as well that I'm totally useless right now, and I pretty much am. But more more importantly, most of the times that I've died here, my team's gotten something from it. I'm not just dying for free, so it has made my team pretty strong. Maybe that just sounds like an excuse. Holy shit, that smite was terrible. Let's get out of here. But yeah, this this is good now. I have a lot of gold now. I've got my static shiv. I'm really close to my infinity edge. Then I'll have my two iron power spike. Two iron power spike is, I would say enough. Why am I not going bot? I would say two items is enough on Caitlyn to start being pretty useful. But three items is where you can start popping off. So, I want to go bot lane. Pick up these minions and then get three items and then I'll be happy. After that, I'll probably have to go for some life steal. Uh, not life steal. Holy shit. Uh, armor. Armor pin. Okay. How much gold do you guys reckon I missed just from not being able to CS? I could probably have like 20, maybe 30 extra CS. I don't really count, well, even the ones in lane phase, the CS that I missed in lane phase is bad to miss. I shouldn't have missed that stuff. But at least, god damn it, at least, the, at least there's the excuse of, you know, oh, you know, that's difficult, difficult to CS that stuff when you're being pressured by Draven, blah, blah, blah. But I miss so much CS, just like, free CSing in the sideway. I'm coming, boys. I'm pretty far, but I'm coming. Oh, beautiful. And I get an assist on that. <laughs> Good shit. Cool thing about Caden as well is that she's really good at taking towers. So once you reach this mid game, you take towers pretty quickly. Because you can headshot them. Look at those headshots. And if I had an ardent support this game, not Blitzcrank, then imagine how much faster I'd be attacking. <laughs> Good stuff. I'm lucky that tower didn't attack me there. What the fuck is he doing? What am I doing? Why? I, I thought Strack was an ally. I genuinely thought Strack was an ally. I'm actually so boosted. Holy shit. I don't know what. I. 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 I oh my god. I flashed into finish off Zed with my Q auto. I thought she was. Wow. Holy shit. That was actually so bad. I can't believe that. I mean, if you if you if you imagine that Soraka is an ally here, okay, then that play makes sense, okay. Now the problem <laughs> problems arise when you realise she's not an a not an ally. Wow, I can't believe how boosted I am today. Fuck me. Whatever, it's cool. I am pretty strong. Have to say hydrated, guys. Water and hydration helps you focus. <clears throat> don't drink too much, though. Just enough. If you're thirsty, drink. If you're not thirsty, don't worry about it. What is this dragon mountain? That's cool. Can we just rush Mountain? Or does he need level 16? I don't know why you need it. <laughs> As if Zach got that last hit with his Sunfire.
So a problem I will face this game, uh, I think the biggest one for me would be Zed. Because I can't flash away, well I guess I can flash away from Zed, but not really. Um, whereas with Jarvan, I can at least... I can at least like, flash out of his ultimate. We ace them. Good stuff. I told you I'm pretty strong now. There it is. Alright. So, I don't carry this one. But, it was... Whatever. Let's see how much damage I did this game. I'm, I don't know why they were so mad about Kha'Zix so like... Kha'Zix played well. Wow, they're, they're honoring Zack. Look at that. What a beast. Crazy damage. Alright, well, whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Check us up if you did, and you can subscribe to me for more League of Legends content. I wish this game had gone longer because I would have loved to have played more late game Caitlyn, but uh, that's just how it goes when you feed your ass off in the lane phase. Kessler by, as they say. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one, and I will see you in my next video.